my son came to Narrowgate. We used to do a lot of things together. We'd go camping and fishing and you know I was used to him calling me daddy and looking up to me and then there was that period of time when uh, he sort of strayed away and found new friends and mentors and, and uh, they were not leading him in a good direction. When he uh, was here for several months I started noticing that he was coming back and so Little by little, our uh, relationship started to build. Years that I thought had been lost were starting to come back again. I felt like I was indebted to Narrowgate, and I'm sure people feel that way, but when I heard Bill talking about wanting to uh, build skills into these young guys, I thought about metal, and he started talking to me about metal, and I'm a metal caster, and we've been getting together and talking about the metal shop and the wood shop for the past several years and now here we are about to christen actually our christening an old furnace I had retired actually it's the furnace that I used when I was 18 years old that I first poured bronze in now it's going to be used here at Narrowgate and hopefully it'll get many years My hope is maybe even someday it becomes a place where church youth groups will show up with their buses and we'll have some of the great youth speakers out here and it'd be a, a Christian Woodstock, you know, where people want to all come out to Narrowgate and see what's happening and, you know, share their experiences and see woodworkers and metal workers and hear some good music. I would like to see more young people other than just my son make that progress from the time that they start to the time that they finish and to, and to launch out in a really strong direction, you know, a godly direction.